we've talked about uh, total costs, we've talked about average costs, we've talked about marginal costs, and now I want to talk, those are all, um, those are all things you have to pay for generating electricity. Now I want to talk about opportunity cost, which is the good cost. So um, everything you own or everything you have control over uh, might have value to somebody else. And so they might be willing to pay you for this asset that you own. And so if you use what you have, if you use something that you own, um, you have to give up the money you would have had from selling it. Right? And this cost that you're paying for using something you own rather than selling it is called opportunity cost. So it's what you can get for your asset if you don't use it, but instead you sell it to somebody else. Uh, so uh, the opportunity cost is a good cost in the sense that uh, the more valuable your asset is, the more someone else is willing to pay for it. Let's just think about a quick example. Suppose you win a car in a raffle, uh, and the raffle ticket costs you a dollar. Uh, even if you already have a car and don't really feel like you want to use this car you just won, the second car is worth a lot more than a dollar to you. What is it worth? Well, it's worth whatever you could sell it for. So you only paid a dollar to get this car, but it's worth much more than a dollar. And the value is what you could sell it for. So the possible sale price of the car is the opportunity cost you face of using the car. It's what you give up if you decide to use something you own rather than sell it. The nice thing about an opportunity cost is the higher your opportunity cost, the more valuable is the thing that you own. So we think about um, opportunity cost as being the good cost. The higher your opportunity cost, the better. So may you have high opportunity costs in life. <laughs>